All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to go out of the box here. Um, now, you're on this channel, 522DR Wagon, but I also have several other channels. Um, if you don't mind checking them out, that would be SWRNC and DIY Auto School. I very rarely ever get on this channel anymore. This is like the first channel that I ever opened on YouTube. And it's strictly basically about guitars. Now, I do upload other videos on here just to keep the channel going. But it was strictly designed for guitar stuff. Electric guitar, relicking, and refinishing, and restoring. So, I don't know if I have a video of this out on this channel or somewhere else. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to strip the paint off of your electric guitar body. Now the paint that is on this guitar body is possibly the original black paint that came on it. Now I'm actually looking at this and it looks like this one here might have already been stripped down. We're going to find out. But um, the techniques that I'm going to show you is for the newer style bodies that got that polyester uh, paint on them that's super super thick clear basically every guitar that's made today and um, it's very hard to get off a lot of people have tried aircraft stripper and other paint removers and what that does is that actually penetrates into the wood pores and will ruin the wood on your guitar so I'm going to show you how to strip the paint off a guitar body and hopefully um, it'll all work out right. So the guitar that you're looking at is a guitar that I purchased on eBay um, And I actually bought it from the Goodwill Now this is a higher-end guitar. We don't give a shit what the name of it is or what brand Made in the USA vintage guitar. I believe from 1982 or 3 and When I bought this guitar, I bought it as a guitar that didn't work. So I got it really dirt cheap and I said, yeah, I'll take it. Well, when I got it, all the serial numbers were scratched off of the neck, which is telling me there was a stolen guitar. So I'm thinking that somebody stole this guitar, they took it home, and then they repainted the guitar to whatever this is called, whatever you want to call that. I guess I would call it ugly. And then thought they had themselves a hot rod guitar. So what we're going to do is we're stripping this down to bare metal, or should I say, I'm sorry, bare wood we're going to strip it down and get all this old paint off it now once again this guitar might have already been stripped i don't know or they could have just sanded it and then painted over it we're going to find out in a minute but the techniques and the uh, uh the steps that i show you is what you want to do to remove that old polyester clear that real thick super paint that's on your guitar off of it if you want to refinish it and the first thing and the main tool that we're going to use is a heat gun. Now this is a professional heat gun. This is not a hair dryer or a hair blower. Um, I purchased this over at uh, Harbor Freight. I believe it was nine or ten dollars and it's just a high and low. There's no settings on it but this thing here will get really hot. If you notice I'm wearing gloves doing this that's because when we start doing this, this is going to get hot, and we don't want to be able, we don't want to burn our hands or what have you. So always wear some good rather gloves when doing this. Now we're not going to burn the wood, but what we're going to do is we're going to heat the paint up to where it's soft enough so we can take our scraper blade here. Now this is an old putty knife, very very old, very dull, got rounded edges on it, and that's the type of tool that you want to use to remove that paint. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this and see what we got underneath this cheesy ass spray paint. So I'm going to set it on high and in a minute here you're going to see that this uh, centerpiece, you can see that right there, it's getting orange. And basically all you want to do is just start heating up your area, keeping your heat gun moving all the time until you see it start to bubble. When you see bubbles in the paint, that means it's okay to start stripping. And like I said, this guitar might have already been stripped of wood. We don't know. But uh, I don't think it has, just by the way that this is moving here. Um, 
it looks like this used to be a white guitar. So, anyway, if you look really close, you can see where it's starting to bubble. Um, this is the original paint underneath this black paint. And it looks like it used to be a black guitar or what have you with white primer. But you can see how it's starting to bubble up. Once it starts bubbling up, you can go ahead and scrape that paint right off of there. See how easy it scrapes off? Look at this. And if you're working on an expensive guitar like this one um, that has an alder body, this is alder wood, or it might be poplar, you really want to be able to take your time and strip it properly. Now, if you notice, my guitar is moving around a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple pieces of wood and a C-clamp to clamp our guitar down so it'll quit moving. Okay, now that we got our guitar clamped down, it's not going to move off our table. This is just a piece of uh, two by four steel block and then I use my C-clamp. That way uh, we can go ahead and use this freely. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our uh, heat gun back on. Gonna let it get hot. And then we're just going to move our heat gun around on the guitar. You see how it's coming off very easy and I'm not scratching the wood. I'm not ruining it in any way whatsoever. You see there? Now, believe it or not, um, underneath all the paint, there is a clear gel that is applied to guitars. I don't remember the name of it, uh, but what that's used for is to seal the wood up. So when they paint these things, um, the pour of the wood doesn't uh, go through it. So there is a sealer, clear sealer on top of this that we will be removing. Now, I don't care if your guitar is one year old or... 50 years old, um, if you have a solid body guitar that is in the design of mine, this technique will work on any of them. I'm just heating it up. I'm taking my scraper. I'm scraping it easily. This is a dull scraper. You do not want to use a brand new scraper on this. You will gouge the wood. And we don't want to do that. This is the best way to remove the paint off of your guitar body, hands down. I don't care what anybody says, I've done hundreds, thousands of these things, and it beats chemical stripping by a mile. All right, now that we've taken the paint off the front and the back, it's time to go ahead and get the paint all the way around the sides. And I'm basically going to repeat my process using my heat gun, just like you see me doing right here. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use the side of my scraper. All right, I'm going to use the side of it instead of the top of it. Because if I use this, it's going to gouge into it. But if I use the side of it, it should scrape it off pretty easy. And then we'll just continue to do this until we're done. Alright, now that we got all of the paint stripped off, we're not done. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you look right here, we still got that plasti coat on it. It's a, I don't know what kind of coat it's called, I don't remember. But it's a clear plastic coat that is on the guitar body before they paint it. That's how they get that real slick finish where you don't get any wood grain in your paint. Um, you can see that, uh, yeah, breaks off in your hand. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take an uh, air sander. This is called a DA sander. It's a dual action orbital sander. And if you don't have one of these, an air one, try to find an electric one. And if you can't get one of those, well, then it looks like you're going to have to do a lot of hand sanding to get the job done. But what I got, I got 80 grit. This is 80 grit, and the trick to this little deal is you got to keep your uh, sander moving all the time. Don't be afraid. You're not going to gouge the wood. You're not going to unlevel it or nothing like that. Just stay away from the edges because all this on the side here, after I go over with the DA, we're going to hand sand everything by hand with a different grit sandpaper. And 
And now you can see how nice the finish is on that and how clean it came out by using our DA sander on our guitar to remove that plastic coating. So this is before right here. You can see how nasty it looks. And that's after by running my DA sander over it for approximately a minute and a half or less. Still using the same piece of sandpaper, we're going to go ahead and get the bat. Now, I want to show you that clear coat that I was talking about. And if you look right here in this section, you can kind of see where it's on level. And you can see actually see the clear on it so that's what we're removing off of the wood and then on the sides I got it in my vise right here very lightly not hard I'm going to take my DA sander Go ahead and finish off our sand job on our uh, plastic coating slash whatever. I'm going to take a piece of hand sandpaper and I'm going to clean these edges up. Don't be afraid of the wood. You're not going to gouge it. I can tell you that. All right. It's going to take a lot more sanding than what we're doing to disform the wood. You can bank on that. All right, we have now removed all the paint off of our guitar in an easy step-by-step -step situation that only took us approximately 35, 40 minutes to do. The last and final thing that I will do to this to make it paint ready is I'm going to go ahead and take some DA sandpaper and that's going to be 180 grit. Alright, and I'm going to sand that with 180. And then to finish the edges off, I'm not going to use my vise on that because I don't want to make no marks on the wood now. I'm going to go ahead and take some 180 grit and I'm going to go ahead and sand those edges down. I see some situation right here, so what I'll do is I'll take my 80 grit. This is a very hard place to sand right in here. So I'm just going to get my 80 grit out, clean it up just a little bit more with that. And now we have removed all the paint And we have made this guitar. Paint ready. In less than an hour. This is Pete over at 522DR Wagon. Um, I don't get on this channel a lot, but when I do, I try to put good content on there. Please check out my other channels. Um, that's uh, channel YouTube channel SWRNC and also uh, uh, DIY Auto School. I'm sorry, I was going to say 522 DR Wagon again. So check out those two channels for more tech tips, helpful hints, and crazy going ons over at my friend Pete's place. And I hope that this helped you out by painting your guitar and doing it right. We'll see you later.